Odd Fellowship started in England in the 1700s when few social services were available to help people in need. These men at that time were uh, suffering in the Industrial Revolution in England and they would take care of widows and orphans of their deceased brothers. And someone commented, it's really odd that those fellows should do that, hence the name Odd Fellows. And over a period of time, the Odd Fellows evolved into a lodge similar to the Masons, and they have a whole lodge structure with passwords and signs, etc. So from the time of just this early beginning, then you'd go from town to town. If you were an Odd Fellow, you had a password and a sign, you could go and you'd get a little help either a job or another basket of food to get you by for another week or so. The Independent Order of Odd Fellows is also known as the Three Link Fraternity. It uses the Three Links as its emblem with friendship, love, and truth as the basic principles of how you're supposed to live your life day to day. If you have friendship for one another, love for family and friends and the community, and you do it in a truthful manner. In 1819, Thomas Wilde a spring maker and odd fellow who had emigrated from England, organized an odd fellowship lodge at the Seven Stars Tavern in Baltimore. Later, he recruited various lodges around the country to form a national association. In 1842, Wildey's group in the States broke off from the homeland, adopting a distinctly American ceremony based upon the Bible. The Independent Order of Odd Fellows started with four objectives. Care for the sick, relieve the distressed, bury the dead, and educate the orphan. These four goals continue to be the Odd Fellows' mission to this day. In 1852, the Canadian branch merged with the U.S. Order, and by 1861, the year Wilde died, there were over 200,000 members of the Independent Order of Odd Fellows in North America. As the order grew, members' wives and daughters played a more active role in carrying out the principles of Odd Fellowship. In 1861, what is known as the Rebecca Degree was established, allowing women to participate in lodge activities. In so doing, Odd Fellows became the first fraternal order to authorize a ladies auxiliary. Later, Rebecca's became an independent organization within the Odd Fellows structure. By 1929, there were over 1.7 million Odd Fellows and Rebecca's spanning a wide range of social levels. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was an Odd Fellow. Larger cities like New York and Chicago had over 100 lodges each distinguished by neighborhoods, religions, and nationalities. Almost every town had an Odd Fellow Lodge, and in many places, the Lodge was the town's grandest building. Odd Fellows were one of the first groups coming into the old towns, and in the process of building their Lodge Halls, it was probably one of the larger buildings in the community, so therefore it became the school, the church, the community center. For fraternal organizations, the Lodge is the heart and center it is where business is conducted. New members are inducted, where the bonds of brotherhood and sisterhood are strengthened. Odd Fellowship recognizes mankind as a part of one universal brotherhood and teaches you to cherish and protect your fellow man. It presents a broad platform upon which mankind may unite in human benefits. To this day, Odd Fellows and Rebecca's continue with the tradition of costumes, symbols, and degrees. In the Odd Fellow Lodge, we currently have four degrees. A mystery degree, which is an introduction, which reminds you of how you're supposed to live life. Then you progress into the first, second, third degrees. The first degree being the degree of tr friendship, and that's based on the story between Jonathan and David. The second degree is the degree of uh, love, and that's the story of the Good Samaritan and third degree is the degree of truth, and that deals with just being truthful with yourself and with uh, your fellow man. Even though Odd Fellows ceremonies are derived from biblical stories, the order has no religious affiliation. The only uh, prerequisite that we have is that they believe in a supreme being, that they believe in their supreme being. Doesn't necessarily have to be my supreme being. As the 20th century progressed, Membership in fraternal organizations started a slow decline. 
the social benefits that groups such as the Odd Fellows and Rebecca's had provided began to be taken over by government programs. And the way many people spent their spare time changed radically in the last half of the century. Today, it is estimated that there are some 250,000 Odd Fellows and Rebecca's worldwide.